to another recorder lesson. Oh, I am so excited that I can be in another movie. Today, Casper here is joining us. Hello, Casper, and welcome to our recorder lesson. Hello, everyone. I agree with Miss Piggy that it is very exciting to be in a movie. I am very happy to join you for your recorder lesson today. Last time, we introduced the recorder. Recorder? What is a recorder? Does it record things like that camera over there? <laughs> no, no, no. Don't you know what a recorder is, Casper? No, what? This is a recorder. It is a music instrument and we make music with it by blowing into the mouthpiece up here that I am holding. But Casper, please, I need your help. This thing is too big for me. How can I help? Can you hold it at the bottom? Okay. We are supposed to play the recorder with the left hand at the top and the right hand at the bottom like this. I see. But I'm too short for the big recorder and I can not play by closing the holes because I don't have any fingers. All I can do is blow into it. Can you hold again, please? Yes, with pleasure. When we blow into the recorder at the top through the mouthpiece, we have to blow gently, Casper. Gently? Yes, if we blow too hard, it squeaks and makes a terrible sound. My big ears don't like that. That's too loud for them. So we have to blow gently as if we were blowing bubbles like this. How did that sound? I think that sounded good. Hello Miss Piggy and I see Casper has joined us for our recorder lesson today as well. Welcome Casper. Yes, thank you for inviting me. I have already learned several things about the recorder. Did I hear correctly, Miss Piggy? Did you remember that we use our left hand at the top of the recorder to close the top holes and the right hand at the bottom of the recorder to close the bottom holes of the recorder? Well done. But how do I remember which hand is the left hand? Hmm. Ah, I can share a trick that I learned because sometimes we do get confused about which is our right hand and which is our left hand. This is how it works. When we don't know which is the left hand or the right hand, what I suggest you do is Close your fingers, lower your thumbs so that the thumbs are in the middle between the two hands and then have a look at the index finger, your pointer and your thumb. Which hand has the shape of the letter L facing in the correct direction? This one, right? It makes an L looking in the right direction. This L is the wrong way around. So now I know this is my left hand. I also told Casper that we have to blow gently into the recorder, like when we blow bubbles. Are you going to blow bubbles again today? Yes. I remembered that you enjoyed the bubbles so much last time, so I've brought them along. And maybe we can use them to send the two of you off to Noteland. Noteland? Where is that? I think it is wherever there is music. Hmm, maybe everything in Noteland is made of notes. 
When I give a long, gentle blow, out comes a bubble. What is this? Oh look, I'm floating away in a bubble. And look, Casper too. When I blow gently and longer on the recorder, out comes a music note. For this note, we have to count up to four. One, two, three, four, in our heads, and then stop blowing. It is called a whole note, just like a whole cake. If we add a handle to the note, the whole note, we can swing it from side to side like a bell. Swing, swing. Or like the clapper, the little tongue inside the bell. When we swing the bell, the clapper inside the bell also swings from side to side. Ding, dong. The ding, if we say it, counts one, two. So we call this a half note because it is only half as long as the whole note. Ding, dong. One, two, one, two. Then we take the half note and color it in. And we have something that looks like a, hmm, a hockey stick or a golf club or maybe like Casper's legs. But this is only one leg. If we have only one leg, like for example the monopods, have you ever read the stories about Narnia or maybe even watched the movie The Voyage of the Dawn Trader? Here I have one of the books out of my bookshelf, The Voyage of the Dawn Trader. And in this book, they talk about little people who are called monopods and they look like this. As you can see, they only have one leg. If you had only one leg, how would you move about? I guess you would also go hop, 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 just like the monopods. Now we can use these words to help us remember how long the notes are. For example, the colored in hop note would be hop, 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 hop. We can clap it as well while we say hop, 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 hop. Or if you remember the owl, you can say tu, 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 tu. And if you play them on your recorder, you would go. If we have this group of notes, we can say hop, hop, dong. And if we were the owl, we could go tu, tu, tu. And on the recorder, we would play. Here I have another worksheet for you that you can print and use to play notes on your recorder. Let's have a closer look at the worksheet. If you have a look at the first row, you will notice there are a whole lot of hop notes. What you can do first is speak them. Hop, 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 hop. Then try speaking and clapping. Hop, 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 hop. And now you can play them on your recorder with a tu, 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 tu. Remember to say the t and blow the rest. (laughs) 
Number two, we don't only have hop notes. You will notice there is also a dong note. In fact, two dong notes. So you can speak it. Hop, hop, dong. Hop, hop, dong. Then speak and clap it. Hop, hop, dong. Hop, hop, dong. Then you can use the owls. Tu, tu, tu. Tu, tu, tu. And now you can blow it on your recorder. Maybe we will use two holes this time because this is row number two. In the third row, we have hop notes and our long note that looks like an elongated bubble. Can you remember how much we counted for that note? Because it is long, we counted one, two, three, four, and then we stopped. So when you uh, speak it, you would say hop, 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 one, two, three, four. And when you clap it, you hold on to the long note. So we go hop, hop. One, two, three, four. Just like we blow one long note while counting to four in our heads. And if you were to speak it like the owl, you'd go two, 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 two. And now we can play it on the recorder. And because it's row number three, let's use three holes. Today's challenge is, let's see if you can work out number four and number five on your own. What you can also do with this worksheet is just close one hole and play all five lines in one go as if it was one song. Close another hole and play the whole page all over again starting from the top right through to number five and close a third hole and play the whole page again as if it was one long song. I am closing three holes now and playing the whole page from the top to the bottom. And to end off with, just so that you can experience what an awesome instrument the recorder is, I want you to watch a video clip on YouTube. The recorder player in this video clip is making awesome music with this recorder and three more recorders which are much bigger than this recorder. Go and have a look and see what types of recorders you can find. And one of these days, we'll do a lesson on that as well. In this video clip that I want you to watch, you will meet Mickey Mouse and his friends as well. So you will notice that Note Land is also in Disneyland. Wouldn't it be cool if by some magic we could just for a short time make the notes visible that we hear coming out of the recorder? You will notice that the musician who's playing the recorders plays fast notes as well. We will talk about those in our next lesson. Bye-bye.